As voice agents are starting to go mainstream, developers are realizing that measuring quality is really difficult. Voice agents need to be human-like. They need to be natural and easy to talk to, and that's what end users expect. But that hasn't been the case so far. And the standard benchmarks for voice AI applications don't really cut it. When you're looking to build a voice agent, you can measure latency, which is how long it takes for the agent to reply to the user. You can measure interruptions, which is how often the agent interrupts the user mid-thought. Or you can measure missed responses, where the agent should actually reply but doesn't. You can measure all three, but typically they're measured independently, and you don't know or have any basis or comparison on how to combine the three in order to measure overall quality of the agent. But I'm here to introduce Vaki, or the Voice Agent Quality Index. What this equation does is it takes all three metrics and it normalizes them to control for outliers across your data set, and then it weights them according to the desires of your application. So you can put a heavier weight on latency or a heavier weight on interruptions. And then it assigns a score from zero to 100. The closer the agent scores to 100, the more human-like and the higher quality that agent is. And that's the one you want to go with for your application. But let me show you. That's enough math. We're going to do some demos. So we're going to start with Eleven Labs Conversational AI Agent. Eleven Labs uses a typical voice activity detection threshold for their end of thought detection. What this does is it looks for periods of silence in the user's speech and then marks that as when a user is complete with their thoughts. And you'll see the implications of that as we discuss. Hello, how can I help you today? Yeah, I'd like to order, um, order pizza. I can help guide you on how to order pizza. Do you have a specific restaurant in mind? Or would um, you like suggestions no, on where to- I just, uh, I want a- No worries. Are you... I want a medium pizza, um, pepperoni. Great choice. You can order a medium pepperoni pizza by calling a local pizzeria or no, using um, a food delivery. I think you, you can help me out. Um, sure, what? I can guide you through. The what what are the uh, what are the options? You can order pizza through a local pizzeria's website, a food delivery. Now you'll see there are a few times where the VAD was too sensitive and it jumped in and interrupted me. So there needs to be a better approach. If AI agents are going to be real and they're going to be easy to talk to and human-like, there needs to be a better approach. OpenAI uses what's called semantic VAD which is where a trained model is looking at the entire context of the conversation and trying to determine when a user is actually completed with their thought. So we're gonna test that out. We're gonna see how the agent feels in the OpenAI real-time API. Hi, um, I'm uh, looking, to, Hello. looking to order a pizza. Great, I'd be happy to help with that. What size I, pizza would you like? I think I want um. I want a medium. Perfect. A medium pizza it is. What topping is I want like a on your pepperoni pizza? actually. Pepperoni on my pizza. With uh Great. With light sauce. Got it. A medium pizza with pepperoni and light sauce. Um, Would you like anything else? No, um uh, No. I'm good. All right, a medium pizza with pepperoni. So as you can see, OpenAI did a much better job with interruption detection. It hardly ever cut me off. And even when it did, it was pretty understandable if you were a human listening in on this conversation. Now, things that OpenAI, as we also saw in our testing, occasionally, if the user seems to be sometimes contradicting themselves or taking some time to respond, going, um, yeah, no. What that can do is cause increased latency in the model. And when we did our testing across the voice agents to benchmark uh, DeepGram's own API against OpenAI, what we noticed was that's very common, uh, both in food ordering scenarios, and that was a common OpenAI response with the real-time API. So let's go ahead and now we'll test out DeepGram's new voice agent API.
Hello, how can I help you? Yeah, um, just looking to order a pizza. Great. What kind of pizza would you like to order? Um, we have a variety of toppings. I think I'd like uh, a available. medium, medium, um, medium pepperoni. Okay, got it. To confirm, you'd like a medium pepperoni pizza. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, yeah. Wonderful. I've placed your order for a medium pepperoni pizza. Can I get a delivery address or will you be picking it up? No, um, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good. No problem. Had it. I'll mark this as a pickup order then. What time would you like to pick up? As you can see, Deep Graham delivered an extraordinarily natural conversation. It felt like I was really ordering a pizza from my local pizza place. Levin Labs, on the other hand, well, it had great latency and snappy replies. It interrupted me constantly because of the typical VAD approach. I couldn't get a word in edgewise. I couldn't stop to think and gather my thoughts about what I wanted to order. OpenAI, on the other hand, had great interruption quality. It never interrupted me. But occasionally, as we saw in the demo, and as we saw in our extensive testing, it would take a very long time to reply to a user. And what this does is it breaks the flow and breaks the illusion for the user. DeepGram delivered an extraordinarily natural conversation across all three fronts. So what did we learn overall today? Well, you can't look at a single metric like latency or interruptions, and you can't look at all three independent of each other. You need to combine all three in a single unified metric to understand if an agent is actually high quality or not. The VACI provides that vehicle to understand if your agent is going to satisfy end users, which we need in today's world. So go to DeepGram's website, Check out our blog to understand more about how we calculated VACI and the latest and greatest around our voice agent API. We look forward to seeing you there and feel free to try it out on the playground. Thank you.